In the heart of the countryside, nestled among ancient trees and looming mist, stood the enigmatic Darkwood Estate. The mansion, with its tall spires and ivy-covered walls, had a history shrouded in mystery and whispered tales of the supernatural. Locals dared not venture near after dusk, for it was said that the estate was haunted by restless spirits who sought to reveal long-buried secrets. The story began many generations ago, when the estate was first built by the eccentric recluse, Lord Archibald Darkwood. He was a man of strange habits and even stranger experiments, rumored to have delved into the arcane and occult. One fateful night, an experiment went horribly awry, resulting in a catastrophic fire that consumed a portion of the mansion and claimed Lord Darkwood's life. Since that night, eerie occurrences plagued Darkwood estate. Doors creaked open on their own, disembodied whispers echoed in empty hallways, and faint apparitions were seen drifting through the mist. The locals believed that the spirits of Lord Darkwood and his ill-fated servants still roamed the estate, unable to find rest. The tale drew the attention of Emily Morgan, an intrepid young journalist with a fascination for the supernatural. Hearing whispers of Darkwood Estate, she saw an opportunity to write an article that would captivate readers far and wide. Armed with her camera, recorder, and a heart full of curiosity, Emily arrived at the estate one gloomy afternoon. As Emily explored the mansion, she felt a shiver run down her spine. The air was thick with an unsettling energy, and every creak of the floorboard seemed to echo through the ages. Undeterred, she set up her equipment and began to investigate. Days turned into nights, and Emily delved deeper into the mysteries of Darkwood Estate. She interviewed locals who shared chilling accounts of ghostly encounters, each story more spine-tingling than the last. Emily herself experienced strange phenomena, her camera capturing fleeting shadows and inexplicable orbs of light. One evening, as the moon cast an eerie glow over the mansion, Emily ventured into the charred remains of the wing that had burned down long ago. She could almost hear the crackling of flames and the anguished cries that had once filled the air. Deep within the ruins, she discovered a hidden chamber, untouched by time. Inside the chamber, Emily found journals and manuscripts penned by Lord Archibald Darkwood himself. These writings revealed a tormented soul obsessed with unlocking the secrets of the afterlife. He had conducted forbidden rituals in the hope of gaining immortality, inadvertently binding his spirit to the estate. As Emily poured over the journals, a presence began to manifest around her. Faint whispers surrounded her, and the air grew heavy with sorrow. Suddenly, a translucent figure materialized, the specter of Lord Darkwood himself. His hollow eyes met Emily's, and she felt a mixture of fear and empathy for the trapped spirit. In a voice that echoed with centuries of longing, Lord Darkwood recounted his tale of obsession and regret. He confessed to unleashing forces he could not control resulting in his eternal entrapment within the mansion's walls. Emily listened with a heavy heart, realizing that the restless spirits were not malevolent, but rather victims of their own ambitions. With newfound determination, Emily devised a plan to free Lord Darkwood and the other trapped souls. Consulting the journals, she discovered a ritual that, if performed correctly, could break the bond between the spirits and the estate. With the help of a local historian well-versed in ancient rituals, Emily set about the intricate process. On a moonlit night, as mist clung to the trees and the wind whispered ancient secrets, Emily and the historian conducted the ritual. The air crackled with energy, and the mansion seemed to tremble as the barriers between the worlds weakened. A blinding light enveloped the estate, and Emily felt the weight of centuries lifting. As the light faded, Emily looked around, her heart racing. The mansion stood still, and the air was calm. The spirits of Darkwood Estate had vanished, leaving behind an overwhelming sense of peace. Emily knew that their souls had finally found release, their tortured existence coming to an end. Word spread of Emily's courageous endeavor, and Darkwood Estate lost its ominous reputation. The mansion, once a place of dread, became a symbol of redemption and closure. Emily's article captured not only the haunted history but also the tale of liberation.
reminding all who read it that even in the darkest of places, there is always a glimmer of hope.